Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And uh, in Windows 11, one of the things that Microsoft is doing is rethinking the Microsoft Store, which looks like this now. And if we compare it to what it looks like in Windows 10, this is the Windows 10 version of the Microsoft Store right now with categories on the top and the way that it's done here with the different apps and everything. Um, you know, is it an improvement? Let's go back. Maybe. Um, instead of names and having it at the top, you have the app categories and stuff here on the left side. Overall, um, is it easier to go through everything? Um, I'm not sure. And it's a difficult one because, honestly, I don't find any app store is, um, you know, kind of made or designed in a good way. Um, I've used a lot of the App Store for Apple and, um, the, you know, iOS. I've used the App Store, and I use the App Store all the time for Google Play and for my Android devices. But once I look at the App Stores, they're always kind of a mess. And I don't find that there's one that's better than the others. For me, they're all a big mess, making it more or less difficult to actually search for the apps that you want. So I don't know if it's better in the way that they designed it. It is interesting to note that a couple of years back, we were hearing some rumors that you know Microsoft might want to kind of shut down the Microsoft Store, and finally it survived. They tried the different things. They tried to sell hardware through it, computers. Uh, they're doing a lot, but they they kept it on, and now we know that. There's actually going to be an Android store eventually from Amazon in here. We'll see what's going to happen with that. But definitely, um, you know, it's always a tough one trying to make a Microsoft store. Then the other thing is, how many people actually do get their apps from the Microsoft store? I know some of you do. I do on some uh, apps. I do download games. Um, but in general... You know, most of us still go by the good old clicking on a link in a website and downloading a file and clicking the file to set up the program. I think that is still the majority of what we do, which is what Microsoft wanted to basically remove um, in our PCs to, you know, um, have us go through the store all the time. One of the things they have succeeded um, somewhat is the fact that they did succeed in having, for example, having me download a lot of games through the store and the Xbox, um, which, you know, the Xbox app often sends you to the store for different um, games and, and apps. But um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's not uh, for sure. So uh, we'll see uh, over time if that is something that actually um, you know gets better or not. But it's uh, it's it's still kind of difficult to navigate. I find through the different app stores, including the Microsoft Store here, even though they kind of changed it a little bit. What do you guys think? Is is it better today than it was? Or um, and do you download files? Do you download apps from the Microsoft Store? Um, just kind of curious. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.